Right, Toya, and more than 400 police officers and firefighters used State Fair Park here last fall as a training grounds for an active shooter mass casualty situation. The primary focus stopping the shooter and treating the victims as quickly as possible. And police say if you're ever in that situation, you need to have a plan too. We need look no further than the Sikh temple shooting in Oak Creek in 2012 to realize the type of violence that ripped through an Orlando nightclub Sunday can happen right here at home. Certainly we look at every one of these and we look at it in a view of how we would handle it and what we would do. Greenfield's assistant police chief David Patrick coordinated the area training at State Fair Park, part of regular drills that seem all too necessary. What do we got? Patrick says standard police training is now the first arriving officers go into an active shooter situation, going after the shooter, rather than waiting for a SWAT team to gear up. Oh no, we're going right in. If there's active shooting, we go right in. And I don't know what their scenario or what their facts were, but if we get a call right now of an active shooter in some building, we're in. And Patrick says you need to be thinking about how you'd respond too. If you can get out, if you can't barricade yourself in a safe room, and uh, be ready to attack, be ready to fight. Uh, if a few of the people in Orlando would have got together and went after the shooter, uh, you know, a lot more lives probably would have been saved. Now, Patrick wouldn't comment on the specific situation in Orlando or the Orlando department, but he did say that uh, where he uh, was uh, responding, in fact, to others who have criticized uh, the police department for waiting three hours from withdrawing before they went back in and killed the gunman. Reporting live here at State Fair Park, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.